Carl, uh, first off, let me thank you for taking the time to uh, sit down with us to uh, talk. I know uh, the last few weeks, last few months have been an, uh, an incredible roller coaster ride for you. Uh, ups and downs, highs and lows. So if you don't mind, just you know, tell us about you know, what you've been going through and everything that transpired in your own words. I'm sure everybody is uh, you know, really looking forward and, uh, to hear what you have to say about all this. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking the time also. My name is Carl Briggs and I'm a UFC fighter. Well, was a UFC fighter. I'm a mixed martial artist for the last 14 years. Um, again, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize to Dana White, Lorenzo Fertitta, Frank Fertitta, and uh, Joe Silva for what's been going on the last few months. Um, and I'd like to apologize to my fans. Uh, it means a lot to me. You guys have shown a lot of support lately of what's been going on. I like to recap a little bit, you know, in the last year, year and a half, what's been going on in my life. Um, everything started when I got uh, when I got suspended from medication that my doctor prescribed, and from then on, everything started going downhill for me. Um, UFC 106 was uh, an important event for me. I like to also apologize to Dustin Hazlitt for not being able to walk in there and fight with the. I mean, it wasn't fair for them. The UFC fans, the UFC, and for Dustin for me to walk in out with that kind of mentality and and uh, not be ready to go show a good performance. Um, you know, anxiety and panic attacks took my life and it kind of like put me down and kind of crushed me in the last year. I'm I'm coming back. I'm coming back better than ever. I mean, my life has been upside down, and I'm trying to get everything back in order so I can start competing in mixed martial arts. Something that I love to do. You know, I like to, people have to understand also that I've been competing in martial arts for about 14 years now. And, you know, it comes to a point where, you know, you get drained, you get burned out. And uh, I think that's one of the roles that played, you know, in what's been going on. Um, apology is a big deal for me, and I'm, and, I, and, and I'm doing a lot of apologies to my fans. And, and I really appreciate each and every one of you showing support for me in this, uh, in this really bad time. Um, I don't know what organizations I'm going to fight for, but I'm, I will fight soon, hopefully, and uh, I will, I'm will. i going to come back better than ever. I mean, people uh, have every re right not to believe me anymore. It's because I've done interviews before and I've said I'm ready to come out there and fight and good, show a good performance, but um, obviously it never happened. And I, I'm just asking for one more chance for my fans and everybody else to give me so I can get out there and prove everybody that car priest and I can come back, I can come back better than ever. You know, I never thought this would never happen to me. You know, just like you know, you watch all these fighters and all these celebrities going through a roller coaster in their life and hitting, hitting the slumps, and you never thought it could ever hit you, but you know it did. And uh, I'm more into a shock than anything else. Um, like I said, the, the medications when I start when I tore my hamstring for I was supposed to fight Matthews for a title, that kind of lead me off a little bit on the side, and then when I have my medication. You know, and I you know, I abused it here and there, and I think that played a role also. But my anxiety and panic attacks were the major roles that really hurt me. And the commission, I mean, they did their job and they suspended me for nine months and gave me a $32,000 fine, which was honestly unheard of. You know, I took a medication drug where um, I had a prescription for, and uh, I even gave them the prescription and everything else, but they didn't see it that way. They saw it as I was supposed to let them know the day of the weigh-ins because if you get a piece of paper kind of recapping what I've been doing the last month and I never wrote on the piece of paper because I never needed the medication until the morning of the fight. You know, long story short, um, basically they suspended me. I mean, it's not an enhancement drunk. It doesn't do anything for me during the fight other than it's, you know, it, it, you know, it really slows down your, your reaction time. It shuts down your respiratory system and it's one of those things that you know you shouldn't have in your system, but you know I had pain and I took it and it backfired on me. You know, guys, I, and like I said, I apologize for everything that's been going on. That you know everybody expected me to get out there and, and come back and fight and do what I had to do, and that never happened. Um, again, I'm trying to do. I'm trying. I'm changing my life around as we speak. I'm getting back in the gym, starting to train, stay focused. You know, first and foremost is my family. I have to take care of my family before I can think about myself or my career. And at the time being, my family and everybody close to me are very supportive about what's been going on. 
and at at this time I'm gonna take my my, my first step. It's like baby steps for me. It's like the rebirth of you know of me at the time, and uh, I just want to come back and start performing. I don't even care. If, I mean, obviously I care if I lose because that's not in my vocabulary. But even if something happens and I lose the fights, I still want to show good performances and have my fans go home that night at least say, you know what, you know I paid to watch Caro. I paid to be there, and you know. I'm happy. He did a good performance. You know, it was my mo it got my money's worth, and that's all I want my fans to do. And I really appreciate each and every. I've been getting a lot of support. I've been getting a lot of fan mail lately, and uh, you know, I've been retaliating at the same time, writing my letters back to them, writing the, you know, give them autograph pictures and whatever they want. You know, if without fans, there is no sport. There's no martial arts, and there there are no fighters, and there's no car Parisian. And if there's if we have fans, the fans are the ones that help us out and make us, you know, climb that ladder in order to achieve our goals in mixed martial arts or whatever we're doing. Uh, again, I apologize to Dana White and Lorenzo and, and the UFC. My intentions were not to screw them at all. They helped me out a lot before and it meant the world to me. At the time, you know, excuse my language, you know, I don't crap where I eat, you know, and this UFC was my home for seven years. You know, like I said, man, uh, I really appreciate from all the fans and the support I've been getting. You know, it's times like this when you see the people that are supposed to be around you that they're not. You know, they put their tail under their ass and they walk, they run away, and you know who's friends and who's not. And at this time, I think I know who's my friends, who are, who are my supporters, and uh, you know, you know, I'll never forget the support and the love they give me at this at, at this time. This is the time that people need people, and. Uh, you know, continue on, like I said, guys, you know, the commission did what they did, and, and I just didn't think that it was that big of a deal for me to be suspended for nine months and get a $32,000 fine. On top of all that, I have, you know, my it hurt me really bad financially, because I haven't fought for a year. And if you don't fight, you have absolutely no income, and I'm the only one taking care of my family at the time being. And it's very hard for me. Like I said, you know, life is a roller coaster, it goes up and down, and you know, I rolled down off this mountain that I was on top for a second and I gotta put the same shoes back on and start climbing again and you know I'm hungry. I haven't fought for a year. I really am hungry. Um, it's, my mind is like replenished. You know, I'm focused. I wanna come back, start training again like I was before and start getting in the cage and giving the fans what they pay for and what they want to see with Cara Parisian. I really appreciate each and every one of you supporting me. Um, you can get on my website, caro-parisian.com. You guys can write your support, whatever you guys want to do. I really appreciate it. Again, my apologies to each and every one of you. My main, uh, what I really want to say at this in this interview is, I'm not finished, guys. I'm here. I'm 27 years old. I have a long way to go in the mixed martial arts world. I've been fighting for 14 years. Um, I'm thinking. I've thought about it a lot. I talked to my family. It's it's time for me to start climbing that mountain again and taking the title shot someday and getting my title. And uh, I'll be back better than ever. Please don't give up on me. Give me one more chance, and I'll and I'll prove everybody in time that Kara will be the champ one day again. But hopefully, get up there and become the champ. Uh, my name is Kara Prison. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. God bless all. Kara, uh, again, thank you very much for taking the time. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully maybe this is a little therapeutic for you too, getting a lot of these uh, uh, emotions and thoughts out finally because I know it's been yes. a while since this whole incident happened mm -hmm. and uh, you know we're here for you, uh, you know we've got a big community behind you uh, to help you out in whatever you need and uh, thanks again for taking the time and God bless. Thank you so much.